was early Sunday morning as we lifted off from LAX. I was headed south for my first encounter with the winds, currents, and seas on the trip north from Cabo, the infamous Baja Bash. As familiar cruising grounds slid by, I tried to remember some of the things I'd read. Watch out for Sacramento Reef. Is it really better to go inside of Cedros? What about Turtle Bay's fuel dock and the famous tin can? The Baja coastline is pretty barren. If it gets rough, where do you tuck in? Is it really as bad out there as everyone says it is? A smooth two-hour flight down, and ahead, a six-day uphill bash home. What's it really going to be like? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to San Jose del Cabo Airport. For your safety, it is important to remain seated until the abra has completely completed the stop on the ramp and the door has been opened. Well, this is it. Mexico and the airport in Cabo. From here, it's off to the marina to meet up with John Gilbert and the HYC crew who brought freedom north from Puerto Vallarta. Our rendezvous? A quaint little restaurant on the docks, the Ole Ole Grill. Lots of south of the border charm. Captain Tom was already busy getting everything organized. Hacienda Hotel, between three and four. You're going to drop your bags off. Right. We're getting duct tape. And uh, Scott's going with us. <laughs> You can either clear papers yourself by going first to immigration and then to the port captain's office to clear the boat in with the crew list, or you can hire an agent who's over in this office who will handle everything for you on the same day for a slight fee, which is well worth it. How was the uh, passage up? It was lumpy and confused and uh, wet. Was it a comfortable passage? No. Why not? <laughs> uh, we didn't cook anything. We made some sandwiches and... Uh, what else did we eat? Cookies. And anything else we could find? Bananas. Hey, we better we talk to Rick about this. Rick, I'm told that all they had was cookies and sandwiches on their passage up from Puerto Vallarta. Well, guess what? That's going to change. How so? Tomorrow, tomorrow we will go to the Supercado and we will spend mucho dinero so you and I eat properly. What do you plan on making? Well, I think we'll start off with a nice little... <laughs> Right over here is one. <laughs> right here. This will be filleted beautifully, very thin, and served on a nice cracker wedge. Toast points. What kind of Toast sauce? Points. <laughs> Toast points. Nice cream sauce would be nice. This is my son Keith. This is the first time to Cabo, and he's going to be the first mate and help me in the kitchen. Pardon me, the galley, because he's very good in the galley. Yes. And Keith, you're quite a boater yourself. Yes. Well, every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Have you done this passage before? No, I haven't. This will be the first time. My first time, too. And in spite of all the folklore about the trip, I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> we shall return. There she is, Freedom, a 64-foot queen ship, and our home for the next six days. It's going to be quite a ride. <laughs> Sir, do you have any specialties that you don't like, Mr.? No, I'm, I, I don't go for anything really bizarre seafood, but... Other than that, I'm fine. Okay. We have a, a waffle iron on board. Okay. I like waffles. Hint, hint. So pick up some, if there's not cinnamon, pick up some cinnamon for the waffles <laughs> and some vanilla. Oh, yeah, where are the spices? Uh, the spices. What do you think you don't like? Third you know what? I'm totally good. Um, okay. The only thing I don't like is fresh fish. Yeah. Is this vanilla? <laughs> yeah. Like we have vanilla, so we have vanilla for waffles. You need olive oil, or the condiments Bye, and uh, have a wonderful time. Oh, wait, 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 we have to get the whole crew together oh, yeah, with El Jefe before you leave yeah. for a photo shot <laughs> on the bow. See you guys. Safe trip. See you. See you, John. John's final bit of advice? Don't let it leak. <laughs> With the owner on his way home, it was time to get on with the serious business of final preparations for the difficult trip ahead. There was a sense of urgency. Everyone knew what had to be done. It feels great! <laughs> it's warm, too. We are not conserving water. The water maker has been working 
full time since we arrived here in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. That's a good thing. And that's a good thing. Whew. And here comes Mr. Ingold, not knowing how to stop the jet ski. I can't believe the speed of this thing. What? I can't believe the speed of this thing. It's 105 horsepower. Jeez. Right. Not conserving water. Okay, see, do this cabinet. Get the other water. Shit. We're going to convert one of the diesel tanks to gasoline so I can ride this back to Long Beach. <laughs> one last day in paradise, and what a day it was. Everything was set for the trip north. It was a beautiful evening in the anchorage, and after dinner ashore, everyone settled in for one last night of sleep on the hook before heading out to sea. We're starting the engines now. We're preparing to leave Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Baja California, sir. Our first destination is Bahia de Santa Maria, oh. just north of Mag Bay. Goodbye, Cabo, goodbye. Bye-bye, Cabo. It's going to be calm. We're going to have calm weather all the way. It's going to be flat, just like you see out the windows here. Nice and stuff. Any bites yet? Nah. Just like trolling along, looking for the big one. Aren't I always? <laughs> well, it's now 17:25, and I've pulled the first watch. So we're using all the electronics at our fingertips here. We've got, in addition to the paper chart, we've got the computer here working. We've got every GPS in the boat hooked up to it, and it's tracking our course very nicely. Here's Freedom here on the chart. First waypoint out is the Golden Gate Bank, where we hope to catch some big fish for supper. Boat's handling really nice. Stabilized, it's very smooth. It shouldn't jinx us, but if everything stays like this, it should be a real nice crossing up, at least uh, to Santa Maria Bay, where we're headed right now. What's cooking good looking? Fly of soul. Mm, yum. This was pretty much the off-watch routine aboard. Plenty of time for lots of rest and relaxation.